I'm going to be using Nano Banana and Veo3 to turn anything you can think of into a professional product. From this cardboard toilet roll to my smartphone, using Nano Banana, I'm going to turn them into new professional looking products. Then I'll take it a step further and show you how to turn them into high quality video ads, all in one site, plus loads of tips and tricks. So let's get into it. So Artlist are sponsoring this video and I thought could I use all of the tools that they have on offer to create an incredible looking product video. Artlist haven't been on the AI scene for that long, but I think they are going to be a true powerhouse. And I'm going to show you why in this video. I'll create it as simple as possible so that you can follow along too. I have actually created another video just on Nano Banana, which contains 40 unique use cases for it. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to check that out. I think it'll be a great video to watch after this one to help spark more ideas. So the first thing I'm going to focus on is creating the images for the product. Now the products I'm creating in this video are just examples. You can use these tips and apply it to whatever products that you want to create. So I've taken some photos of this cardboard toilet roll and I wanted to turn it into a banana juice soda, which does sound kind of gross, but I'm oddly intrigued to try it. So just make sure you're on the AI image and video tab, click on image to image and make sure you've got nano banana model selected. While editing this video, Artlist actually dropped a new image editor, which is the Sea Dream 4.0. This is another awesome addition for Artlist as it works very similar to Nano Banana, but it does have the extra benefit of being a higher resolution output image and it actually costs a bit cheaper. I found the results to be quite similar. As you can see with this image here, I gave it the prompt of close up of someone holding the can, pouring the yellow soda into a glass. I think they both did a great job, but what I noticed from the Sea Dream images is that they have a bit more contrast and have that extra clarity due to the higher resolution. So definitely experiment with both image editors. The good thing is that you can use the same prompts with both Nano Banana and Sea Dream. While I could just upload the image of the cardboard tube and ask it to turn it into something, I wanted to control the design a bit more. So I actually created this very simple sketch and put the text banana juice onto where I wanted it to be placed on the product. I said create a photorealistic soda can from the drawing, the soda name is banana juice in a fun font. So it actually turns my really simple drawing into a professional looking can. I think it looks great, but it does look very simple. So I actually added a few extra details into the prompt. So I used the same prompt as before, but this time I added banana graphics on it as well. And I really like the bananas on the can on this one. And then I kept editing the prompt and here are the different variations that I created till I got to the final design, which I was pretty happy with. Now, I know you may be thinking I don't really need the physical prop as I could just use the drawing as reference and you are completely true. But having a physical prop is really helpful if you want to place it in, say, like real life situations. So in this example here, I'm holding the tube up like I'm drinking from it and then Nano Banana knows exactly where the can should be placed. So this is a really good tip if you want to compose your product within a scene and have it at a certain angle or if someone is holding it. The great thing about Nano Banana is you can keep editing and refining those images and prompts until you get the images that you're looking for. So this is a good example here. I've actually used the image of the cardboard tube to show how the can should be placed in the image. And then the image of the rendered can and prompted it with replace the soda can. The background is a tropical beach. The can is on sand. Keep the same framing and composition. And as you can see, it's kept a very similar composition from the photo I'd taken. And then it's used the product shot and placed it into the environment. Another great technique is using other images as inspiration. So I've got this image here with soda cans surrounded by oranges. So I uploaded this image alongside the banana juice and prompted it with replace the oranges with bananas and replace the cans with the banana juice can. And it followed the prompt exactly. And then I wanted to change the background into a tropical setting. So I added this image and put into the prompt, change the background to an out of focus tropical beach on a sunny day. And the final image looks great. It's got that really nice kind of summery vibe to it. So this is a really good technique on using other images as inspiration to help frame your images.
And for the revolutionary banana phone, I wanted to create a kind of parody on the iPhone commercials. You can do this using multiple methods. You could just take a photo of your smartphone and prompt it with create a smartphone with a curved screen and a banana like cover, which can work. But for this one, I actually did another very simple drawing of how I wanted the design to look. I find the simple method drawing really good as it gives you the power to really dial in the look of it and all the little details that you want to add as well. And don't worry, you don't need to be a professional artist to get really good looking images, as I'll show you now. So I uploaded the sketch and I said turn this simple sketch into a photorealistic image of a smartphone which is shaped like a banana with a curved screen with blank white screen on a grey background. And I am incredibly happy with how it turned out. It actually looks like a professional product ad photo and I could definitely see people being fooled that this is a new release by Apple. Or in this case I call this product the iBanana. And I created this variant where I said place the screensaver onto the phone and it did it seamlessly. So here I have created a variety of images using Nano Banana, which I can then turn into videos for our product ad. And I'm actually going to leave a document down below containing all the prompts for the images and videos that I've used. So make sure to check that out if you want to kind of copy the results that I've got. So now let's have a look at turning these images into videos. The great thing is Artlist have three different AI video models on their site, so I'll show you results from all of them, but I will be using Veo3 for most of my shots. A cool feature is when you upload an image, it will give you a suggested prompt to use, which can be really great if you're struggling with ideas on how to animate the image. So let's have a quick look at the three different models. So I actually think all three models did a really good job at animating this image. This is a very simple video example. I think if you're creating videos like this one where it's just a very simple movement, then definitely use the light or normal model as they're a lot cheaper than Veo3. So now I'll try create a video using this image with a more complicated prompt as these are the kind of situations where I think Veo3 has the edge. And as you can see, Veo3 does do a better job with these more complicated prompts. The light and normal model videos are still pretty good but they haven't followed the prompt exactly as they're not quite bananas that are showing on the screen as the person is scrolling. But the Veo3 version looks really clean and they are definitely bananas that are showing on the screen. There are a few options that you can choose for your video settings, so here are all the different configurations that you can choose. With the light and standard model, you can choose between 5 and 10 second duration videos and resolutions of 720p and 1080p. Now, depending on your duration and resolution of your videos, they will change in credits, so do keep that in mind when you're generating these videos. And with Veo3, you have durations of 4, 6 and 8 seconds with resolutions of 720 and 1080p. And with Veo3, you can choose to have audio as well. With Veo3, you do actually have optional audio that gets put onto your videos. Now, the audio in Veo3 is really good if you're doing dialogue in your Veo3 shots, but if you do want to save credits, then you can turn this audio off, and then you can use Artlist's sound effects library to then use it with your videos. So that's a tip if you want to save a few credits. And another great thing you can do is upscale your videos you've already made for a handful of credits. This will upscale your videos up to 4K resolution. So here's a few examples of some of my favorite videos I've created, along with the prompt I used to create them.
just another reminder here that I have created a document containing all the images and the prompts used to create the videos. So definitely check that out in the description below if you want to know how to create these shots. Now let's have a look at creating an AI voiceover for the video. Artlist's AI voiceover tool is actually incredibly impressive. I say this because they have all of these different templates, as you can see, but what's really great is that they all sound incredibly professional and not like most of those AI robotic sounding voiceovers. So here's a couple of examples. It's not about covering up. It's about showing up. Your skin renews every 28 days. You can use the filters to choose the kind of voice that you're going for. And I've listened to a lot. I'm actually going to go for this horizon voice as I think it sounds great for commercials. Imagine a world where medicine doesn't just treat you. It understands you. With advanced medicine powered by the intelligence of AI, we're unlocking new frontiers. Cool. So once you've got it, just click select. So you can either do text to voice or voice to voice. So I've actually got my script that I need to turn into an AI voiceover. So I'll just paste in one of the lines. And as you can see here, there are loads of different settings. I normally leave it on best fit, but you can go from optimistic sounding to surprised, angry, disgusted, and you can pick different audio effects like vintage radio to pro studio, phone call, monster, and even make it sound like you're in a cave. So these are really fun effects if you want to play around with them. So let's have a listen to that text. Powered by potassium, nature's most advanced energy source. I think that sounds incredibly professional and I think it will fit perfectly into my product ad. You can also use this voice to voice option as well, which is really handy as you can control the timing of the voiceover. So for an example, this is an audio recording I did. This is the I banana, our most lightest and natural phone yet. Then I uploaded it into Artlist and picked one of their voiceover artists, and this is how it turned out. This is the I banana, our most lightest and natural phone yet. So this is a really good method if you want a bit more control over your voiceovers. I need to find some music for this product ad and Artlist has an incredible range to choose from. So I'll head over to music and as you can see, there are tons of tracks to choose from and you can filter it from a genre, mood, video theme and instrument. Now I want this one to be an instrumental, so I'll actually come over to filters and I'll select instrumental. The video theme, I'll add commercial and I'll add technology. Okay, so I've listened to a few and I actually really like this Interstellar track. So I'll download this one and use it for the product ad. Because they have so many music options, they will definitely have something that will fit your project. And to help take it to the next level and add a bit of texture into this video, I'm going to add in some of Artlist's sound effects. They have an insane amount of sound effects to choose from. So you can choose sound effects from ambient, like in cities and nature. You can add in some foley, like explosions. Choose whatever genre you want from sci-fi to fantasy and so much more. So they really have covered all ground with different sound effects. I'm actually going to use some transition sound effects as I like to add them in between shots. So here's an example. So definitely add in some sound effects as it can definitely help elevate your videos. What I really like about Artlist is also having the professional high quality stock footage that they have available. As I'm going to add some of the stock footage that they have and edit it alongside the AI footage, I think it will just add a bit more quality to the finished product. As you can see, Artlist have a huge range of videos to download. So again, you can filter it down through what kind of video you're looking for. Or in this case, I was looking for banana videos. So as you can see, I've just searched for banana and I'm getting loads of really good results. Whenever I find something that I like within Artlist, I always make sure to add it to favorites. So you can see I've got all of my favorite clips here lined up so I can find them easily. And up here, you can jump to other things that you've liked from other categories. So I'm going to download my favorite shots and I'll edit them alongside the AI videos I've created. So I have actually edited together the footage. And the great thing is if you do use these video editors, then Artlist actually have a plugin that you can download to then use their features within your editing suite, which is incredibly handy. So here's the finished video. From design to nature to architecture, the world is embracing the curve. 
bananas are universal. From healthy snacks to morning smoothies. Everyone loves bananas. Introducing the iBanana. Innovation bent to perfection. Because sometimes, standing out is the only way to fit in. Engineered with the perfect curve to fit your hand. And confuse your pocket. Designed with nature's balance in mind, it weighs almost the same as the fruit that inspired it. The iBanana. More than just a smartphone, it counts as one of your five a day. And for those who demand more, we created the iBanana Pro Tassium. Powered by potassium, nature's most advanced energy source. With infinite possibilities, the future has truly gone. Bananas. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm just blown away that I could take a very simple drawing of an idea I had for a product and turn it into a fully fleshed out marketing ad with incredibly professional looking images and videos. Once you know how to use these tools, it's incredibly easy and quick as well. Looking at the pricing, I actually created all of this content using the Max Pro account, which gives you access to all of the tools available and a decent amount of AI credits to use as well. I really do think it is an incredibly high quality all-in-one product. And as they're quite new to the AI game, I can see them definitely adding more features in the future. And what sets them apart from other companies is that they have this insane library of music and stock footage and images that will really help flesh out your projects. So I hope you've learned something from this video and if you've enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. My name is Jack and I will see you in the next one.